Hello and welcome to the support video for workload automation video series. In this video, I will demonstrate how to configure variable lists using the special variable called libmemsim. The libmemsim variable enables you to manage control M variables in a centralized way on a specific control M server. This file can contain multiple variable statements that can be referenced by different control M jobs. If you have multiple control M servers, you need to create the file for each control M server. The format for the libmemsim variable is as follows, where the path name is the location of the file on the control M server. This variable can be specified in the control M job definition under the variables section, or you could define it in the onDo action statement of do variable. I will demonstrate this in the next demo. On the control M server, I've created a file called varlib.txt in this location. As you can see, it contains the list of variable assignments and their values and calculations. For example, it shows a global variable called var2 with a value of Friday. Also, it is calculating yesterday's date using the calcdate function. Please note that each variable expression needs to be specified on a separate line. I've created two control M jobs that use this variable list, job 1 and job 2. Job 1 echoes the global variable and job 2 echoes yesterday's date. To define the libmemsim variable, go to the job definitions variable section. Create a new entry by clicking on the plus sign and enter the variable name libmemsim as the value. Variable type is local and the location is the varlib.txt file. Click OK when you're done. Please note that the variable simulation icon is for local variables only. It does not apply for simulating libmemsim type variables. If you want to add the libmemsim variable in the onDo action statement section, go to the actions tab and click on the plus sign. Select your on condition, for example, when the job ended OK or not ended OK, or one of the options from the list. Then select do action of set variable. Type in the name libmemsim, type local, and the path is the var libtxt file location. Save the job definition and test the job by ordering it into the monitoring domain and let it run. Let's check the job output. Job 1 shows the output of the global variable value Friday. Job 2 shows the output of yesterday's date where it has been resolved accordingly. To summarize, the steps needed to configure this variable are as follows. Create the libmemsim file containing the variable assignments and ensure it is accessible by the ControlM server account. Go to the ControlM job definition and add this variable under the variables section. This file must be present in the variables section for the variables to be resolved. In addition, this variable can also be used in the onDo action statement of do variable. That concludes this Control M Solutions video. Please see our knowledge base and YouTube channel for more videos like this. Thank you for watching.